Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome in for a next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I do wanna remind you this is general and it's meant to pertain to the following 48 hour period for you, beginning around when you're guided or drawn to this video, not just following when I post it, all right? I did um, channel the message right before this attempt for your reading of it's yours for the taking. It's yours for the taking. So I do feel as if you're on this, uh, you're searching rather, excuse me, for a new opportunity, something uh, of the sort. It could be in regards to your search for a relationship, that perfect individual um, soulmate for you. It could be a numerous amount of things for you specifically, but it's yours for the taking. Okay, uh, we're gonna pull from the Tattoo Tarot deck and get an overall energy for the next 48 and see what we get. Do you wanna flip? Um, I'm hearing if it entails a backflip, right? If it uh, entails a ton of effort to acquire or to land um, a position or uh, that situation in general to um, get them on board is what I'm hearing um, or to get their attention, it's not for you, okay? What's meant for you at this point along your path will feel easy in its manifestation, okay? We have the star. So your dreams, your wishes, your goals taking a focus. People's view of you also taking a focus, but I do feel like it's an X48 that's full of a lot of gifts of abundance, attention, clarification. I feel like even, so Spirit's gonna clarify certain things through downloads, synchronicities, right? Um, reminders of the past even, um, switch ups taking a highlight in your mind. But I also feel like you're clarifying in your mind as to what you truly desire, okay? Remembering why you desire something. Um, something isn't exactly what it expected, but it's meant to be. You need to trust that, okay, with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Let's continue and pull some tarot and see what we get. Let's see what we get. I just heard somebody's making you a little bit nervous. For Taurus to continue. Okay, we have the moon. So I do feel as if you're coming off very mysterious. You could find that certain emotions do float to the surface. At the very least, your connection to the moon is taking a highlight. I also feel like your connection to dogs specifically, um, it could be one in particular for you or multiple, but I do feel as if animals in general taking a highlight for your next two days. I also feel like when you take a deep breath or when you find one's energy uh, becoming less shaky or calming down, ask oneself why. Did you just cleanse your energy? Did somebody or, uh, somebody or uh, something in the situation change? Um, did somebody leave a situation, right? Did you migrate to a new location? There's something about the shift in your energy at one if not multiple points in the next 48 that needs to take a highlight in regards to adapt to the upcoming days, weeks, months, um, to make best out of where you're at or what you're moving towards. Uh, but the Seven of Cups. Now, remember we were talking about, you know, it being yours for the taking, whatever that is for you. Spirit's saying you have a lot of options, okay? You feel as if you're doing browsing. You could find that shopping takes a highlight or just window shopping, right? Browsing in general. I do feel as if you are finding oneself, um, okay, dazing, dazing out is what I just heard, spacing out, right? Um, kind of drifting away for a hot second as I was just doing. Um, that's purposeful, okay? I'm gonna take this. I also just feel like you have a lot going on, a lot to accomplish, potentially a lot to prepare for. Um, okay, heads taking a focus, however that works out for you. Um, also bugs taking a focus. Could feel like a bit of a random, very productive next 48 where you wanna do more than you feel like you can. I do sense that the next uh, two days will entail some healing, whether it feels like it or not, or whether you uh, think you need it or not. Spirit's saying, we know you've been through it. Sometimes you block it out of your memory or just what the forefront of your focus, but there is healing to take place, okay? Um, something may not feel perfect in a transition, okay? In a tr transitional stage, but it's assisting in the healing for you individually. Interesting. Um, keep your eyes on the star is what I'm hearing. Keep your eyes on the star as I'm drawn to this. And I feel like by the star, they're meaning um, the prize for you. Keep your eye on what feels most valuable for you as far as uh, acquiring. It was weird wording. I'm also now hearing the stars are aligning for you. The stars are aligning for you. Okay, we also have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I'm, I'm gonna speak upon this in both positions because I feel like in reverse, Spirit's saying, 
something doesn't feel like the end-all be-all, doesn't feel like the perfect, most fulfilling situation for you, but all the meanwhile, you did get a wish fulfillment, right? Or you're about to. Um, and I do feel as if you're going to in the near future and even be reminded in the next 48, um, a reminder that this lies ahead, okay? A perfect housing situation, a perfect job, a perfect relationship. It could be more than one thing for you that you're contemplating and thinking about, even just, you know, hoping for, comparing to an extent. Um, but there's also, in regards to what you're looking to acquire as far as an investment or a new job, something of the sort, an opportunity situation, Spirit's going to highlight the one opportunity that isn't go going to be your happily ever after. It's not going to be all that you think it will live up to, okay? Sometimes it's hard to see it clearly from our perspective and Spirit sees the future more so even if you're predictive in nature, um, even with your strong intuition. And they're just uh, trying to expand, make things more illuminated for oneself. Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, change is taking a highlight, a change that's coming to be, a change in your energy again from moment to moment or just situation to situation, how people and places and situations are affecting you energy-wise, way of being, um, even emotionally, okay? Um, but I really do feel as if you're being noticed for a change, okay? You're being noticed for how you're changing and you're being noticed for the work that you've been putting in um, and are throughout this next two days. You're on point. You're doing well at what you uh, would consider your craft or other people would view as your talent or talents, okay? And I really do feel as if you are, yeah, you're just shining in certain ways. And I feel like there's, and I'm not surprised for this to come out in a Taurus reading, you are uh, not forcing it in what you produce, develop, wrap oneself up in, in regards to a change you're trying to implement. And that's helping you manifest and it's helping you draw in more eyes, more attention in more uh, other forms of abundance, all right? So well done when it comes to that, well done. But I just feel like you're thinking about things in a very simplistic manner, but feeling as if you're expecting the upcoming, I wanna say months, right? The year of 2023 to be highlighted as very complex, life-changing or just um, different than what you've been experiencing. I just feel like you're very open to the new. I feel like that might've come out in your reading recently, or was that a different sign? Um, the Eight of Cups, yeah, thinking about doing what's right for you. I just feel like somebody's thinking about you in a I'll miss them kind of manner, um, or I just miss them in general, but I feel as if you're not fully feeling the same way, or you just kind of have put that to the side out of your mind or in the back of your decision process because it just, you gotta do what's right for Taurus, right? Um, I also just feel like someone at a distance is longing for your attention but isn't going to get it. A new friendship is gonna either take a highlight in regards to uh, it coming in in the future or more so one that just came to be recently, okay? Sorry about the background noise. Probably shouldn't have opened the window. But yeah, there's decisions to make, okay? I feel like you're balancing out two different situations, however that works for you. Um, but I just feel as if you are um, seeing oneself thriving through even the mundane tasks. And I just feel like spirit wants you to ask oneself, well, how do we improve things even further, right? Don't get complacent, don't settle all the meanwhile, but how do we continuously see things improving for the better, okay? It's the next two days where you're gaining so much clarity in, in uh, in regards to improvement once again in regards to what you're moving into or will in the near future and I just feel like you are standing in your power in a very calm cool and collected manner okay and not sweating the small stuff even though you feel like the old version or versions of you would have or other people would expect you to or want you to or think you should right screw it right just focus on what's at hand in a larger sense just get done what you need to and be the emperor of your situation, right? Bold, confident, a bit overly serious at times, but having a lot on your plate, uh, working towards or just making the best set of change, right? And just producing and developing with a true level of confidence and consistency, I wanna say, okay? And it's this feeling where you're not even needing the reminder in the next 40, when you might've in the recent past, to sit back in your throne, to manifest, to keep that crown on or just Notice when it's slipped off due to what you've been dealing with or what you have at hand. 
um, or slip uh, onto or upon, interesting, or run into, you just naturally are like, okay, I'm gonna put that back on. Okay, I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna do what I gotta do once again and keep that confidence alive or bring it on back because it makes the world of a difference when it comes to your situation, okay? And what you want to see successful. And I feel like that's happening for a reason outside if you can hear it. There are certain noise, distractions, complications, energy, frustration, or just things aren't perfect, but you make the best. And everything is purposeful all the meanwhile. Keep that in mind. And I also feel like where you're at at this time, whether it's more in regards to where you live, the relationship you're in, um, your, I feel like that was kind of bad to put it this way, for a relationship, or it could be more so, okay, work or a home situation, it feels like, right? Or a different kind of situation. It needs to be viewed as a stepping stone, okay, towards, again, that 10 of cups for oneself, that ideal situation, right? And therefore, you will be able to view it in a realistic light, okay? And recognize that in comparison and reality, not to overthink or overcompare, but it's better than the past, right? Um, putting all of the rose tinted glasses and uh, glorifying aside, okay? It's the next 48 that once again highlights change and the abundance flowing in at this time and the eyes that are peeled on you, uh, okay, effectively and uh, you being quite on point, right? And again, I just feel like you're very inspirational in your calm, cool, collected, mature and um, effective nature, okay? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your next 48 and I'll see you next time. Bye Taurus.